Coach Chris Steins here. Welcome to this bonus booty building video series. So I'm going to walk you through um, some glute activation exercises, some important glute stretching, and then some really great glute building exercises. But before I get to that, why should you even care about this, right? Well, aside from the obvious that we all want a really nice shapely booty, um, your glutes are responsible for more than that. All of your power in your body comes from your glutes. Um, a healthy gut and a healthy butt, that's the key to your health. If you've ever been to physical therapy before, um, you've probably been told that your pain, if it was like back or leg or whatever it was, had something to do with your glutes. You've probably heard the phrase, you need to turn your glutes on, right? And that is because for most of us, because of all the sitting that we do, our glutes have kind of become lazy. We don't engage them. And that whole, if you don't use it, you lose it, is actually very true when it comes to your glutes. So as we're sitting, the angle of our spine and our, and our glutes um, kind of out, think about it. You can't really flex your glutes in that kind of position. And so, and they're not getting oxygen to them, they're not getting blood to them, they're just not being used. Um, and it doesn't matter if you're doing squats and deadlifts, all these different exercises, if the glutes aren't engaged during those exercises, then you're just gonna build your legs and your glutes aren't gonna get any of the benefits of that. So I'm gonna teach you how to turn on your glutes. And this isn't just for exercise, this is for every day. I want you guys to do this every morning. It just takes a couple minutes, these glute activation exercises, I'm gonna show you three that you can do first thing in the morning and then before you work out. And if you wanna do them more than that, that is awesome. It takes a while to kind of get them re-engaged. And you're gonna find that you really need to focus during these exercises too. Um, this was something that I struggled with for a while after an injury, and it really takes concentration for me to focus on engaging my glute muscles versus relying just on my legs, okay? Um, and so really think about that. These will take, these videos should take at the most 15 minutes, not even that, maybe like five to 10. You can do them on their own each day or you can add it on to the exercise program that you're already doing. Uh, but just, even if you don't do the exercises, please, please do the activation. Do the glute activations, get those fired up. It's gonna help not just with the muscle in your glutes, but just with preventing injury, protecting your spine, um, and just for your you know lifestyle in general. So, okay, let's get started. I'm gonna show you first three activation exercises you can do. Um, in the, and then I'll show you the stretch you can do as well. And then tomorrow I'm gonna move on to the actual uh, exercise, incorporate more exercises into it. So this is kind of like the prep video, okay? I'm not gonna go through the activation exercises at the beginning of each video. I want you to just know what they are, write it down if you need to, and just start getting the habit of doing them every day. Okay, so the first one is called the donkey kick. You may have heard of it before. We're gonna get down on all fours. You wanna keep your spine in alignment, okay? So we're down, we're gonna keep it straight. Hold in your abs, they're gonna protect your spine. And think about kind of tucking, tucking your seat under. So you don't wanna be like that when you go down, okay? Not like that, you wanna keep your spine straight and think about flexing your glutes. When you do that, you're, you're gonna lift your leg, you're gonna, it's pushing against your glutes and just by tucking your seat, you probably will already feel some uh, muscle tension, some of your muscle working. So we're gonna do 15 on each side. I'm really bad at counting, but I'm gonna try my best. Okay, so here we go. Think about lifting from the glute. Initiate the movement in your glute, not in your leg. Focus on that mind-body connection. If you need to slow it down to really think about it, lifting from the glute, squeezing your glute at the top, putting it back down, you can do that too. I want you looking straight down, not forward. Okay. 
We have two more. Okay, next side. Hold your abs in, tuck your, tuck your bum, and lift. The more you tuck your glutes, you can feel that pressing against the lift, and it's creating that workout for you. My left side is where I have problems. I have to really focus on engaging my glutes. And keep your head looking down, not out like that, just down. Okay, I think that was 10, <laughs> I mean 15 on each side. So now we're gonna move into the clamshell. So that was kind of uh, the meaty part of that. We're gonna do um, the side part now. So lay on your side, obviously. And we're just going to, you wanna bend your legs. And we're just gonna open and close your legs. And again, think about initiating it from your, from, your, from your bum, from your glutes, okay? That's where the movement is initiated from. And really squeeze when you get to the top. Squeeze when you get to the top. Squeeze, squeeze. If you're feeling this a lot in the hip flexors, then you can straighten your bottom leg and put your foot kind of behind your knee of your bottom leg and lift it that way. I don't notice a huge difference when I do this, but that's what I've been told. So you could try it that way too. Okay, a couple more. Okay, other side. Squeeze, squeeze, four, five. You may have even, you may even notice your range of motion here is different. I know myself, I can't open as far on my left side just feels very different from my right. That's okay though. You can work on it. Really squeezing that left glute. Squeezing that left glute. Okay, a couple more. Okay. Again, I think that was 15. <laughs> Um, what's the last glute activation exercise? Donkey kicks, clams. Oh, <laughs> I don't see. So the next one we're gonna do are hip bridges. I love these. So we're just gonna lay on our back, put your feet shoulder width apart, and you're gonna just lift your booty up. And again, I wish I could go zoom that in, but you want to really initiate the movement with your glutes, okay? So you're, you're almost, I don't know if you can see it in, in the video, I'm, I'm initiating it by kind of curling my glutes up. I'm holding, my abs are held in. And when I get to the top, see, I'm in a straight line. My ribs aren't poked out like that. That's not, that's not what you want. You're not lifting with your ribs. You're lifting with your glutes. So squeeze your glutes, hold your stomach in, keep your ribs down. Not like this, like this, okay? Keep your ribs down, squeeze with your glutes down. And you can even kind of roll it up if you want. Start, start with your glutes. Squeeze, 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 roll, roll, roll up to about there. And then go down, you know, you're rolling it back out. So your glutes are the last thing to let go. Up, down. And really, like I said, squeeze those glutes. Squeeze those glutes. All the movement comes from your glutes. Give it a good squeeze. If you're squeezing really tight and you have been through all these workouts, this alone 
you're going to feel it just in these activation exercises. These don't take long. Do them every day. Start your day. Might as well start getting those glutes firing because you use your glutes for just about every movement or you want to. If your glutes aren't firing though, for simple things just as bending over, you're going to end up engaging a muscle that really shouldn't be the primary muscle in that movement, okay? So you're gonna get some imbalances. So those are the activations exercises. That's it, easy peasy. Um, donkey kick, clamshell, and hip bridge. I'm gonna show you the stretch now I want you guys to do too. This is kind of painful, I'm gonna warn you. You can do this up against a wall. You can do it up against kind of the sofa, a sofa as well. I'm gonna give it up against the wall. I'm gonna put this down so my knee goes. And I'm going to, I'm gonna, I'm going, to show you side. I'm going to bend my knee right up against the wall like that. So I'm going to back up into it. I kind of get into the stretch. You see my leg up against the wall, kind of funky. And then I pull this out like this. And you push up. And you should feel it all through here. It should pretty much feel like it, your hip flexors are ripping. If they feel like they're tearing, <laughs> you're doing it right. So just do that. Lean forward. Try to, try to not flex and hold it back. Try to just let yourself sink into it. And then what I also want you to do is flex that back butt cheek. Push yourself up, flex that back butt cheek. That's gonna work it even more. Another thing when we sit all the time, our hip flexors get really, really tight and that impacts our glutes as well. So you gotta loosen those up. Sometimes I lean forward with it. Other times I push back. Okay, switch to the other side. This should be part of your every day as well. Just get in the habit of doing this. Oh, I'm sweating already. Doesn't need to be, take a long time. Flex that butt cheek. Sorry, I'm saying butt. I hope that doesn't offend anyone. I know it does my mom probably. <laughs> okay. Get out of that safely. All right, so that's it. Those, those activation and the stretching exercises and why you need to do this every day. I will be back to post another video tomorrow. We're gonna build on from there. Okay, and um, your booty is going to be so sore by the end of this week. I'm going to give you a break in the middle. We'll do some abs to kind of mix it up. But, yeah. So, anyways, thanks, guys. Leave your comments below if you have any questions. Okay.